What is up, Web3 people? Welcome back to yet another Morales tutorial video in which you're going to check out how easy it is to provide your users with multiple wallet connection opportunities for your dApp. This is important because your users might be using a MetaMask wallet, a Coinbase wallet, a wallet on their phone they need wallet connect to connect with, and you want to make the onboarding process for your users as simple as possible. They don't need to go download a new application just to be able to connect to your dApp. And that's where Morales Authentication API comes in very clutch. It's an implementation of the EIP 4361 standard, which is commonly known as sign-in with Ethereum, handles all the authentication flow for you. You just have to add a wallet connector using a Web3 library like Wagmi, and you're ready to go with all the different wallets you can think of. Now, let me move my face away from the screen so we can have a little demonstration. All right, so here we have a sample application with three options to log in, MetaMask, Wallet Connect, and Coinbase Wallet. Of course, the backbone for this project is the Next.js auth application we've built in a previous project. So go check that out from the link in the description. There might be a link on the screen as well for you to check that out if you want to go do that first. But we'll skip the MetaMask and let's straight jump into, for example, Coinbase Wallet. You just have to make sure that you have the Coinbase extension installed and then press Authenticate via Coinbase Wallet. This prompts you to connect to the website. We connect. Then you get a signing message from the Morales Authentication API. We sign the message. Now, after the signature is signed, we send another post request to the Morales Authentication API, which verified our signature. And then we could use next off to create a session with a JWT token with information about the authenticated user, like their wallet address, Morales Authentication API generated profile ID, and the signature hash. Now let's sign out and try this with Wallet Connect. Now let's press Wallet Connect and we're prompted with a QR code to log in with our mobile. For now on the screen, I'll also cast what I'm doing on my mobile. Here you see I have a mobile MetaMask wallet. Let's press that. It opens up the wallet. At the top right, we have a place where we can scan a QR code. We scan the QR code. Now we can connect through our mobile. The QR code prompt on the desktop is removed because we're now connected, but now we have the opportunity to sign the Morales Authentication API signature request. We sign that on our mobile. And like you see, now we are authenticated to the application as well. We're not just connected using the Morales Authentication API. If you're excited for this, stay stuck in and we'll show you how to build this. Hey, I'm Jay, your Morales instructor from beautiful Finland. I got into crypto in 2020, and I've been building in the space ever since. In my free time, I enjoy running and at the gym, and in the summer, you'll definitely find me at the golf course. Now, let's get stuck in and learn about Web3. All right, so getting started here in our IDE, like I said, we have the Web3 Auth Next.js project open, which is the start repository, and the link for this will be in the description below. What I want you to do in the terminal is install all the dependencies, so you should be able to do this just by running npm i. Perfect. Now in the terminal, you can also run a development server, npm run dev, enter. So now this project is compiled on localhost 3000, and we can take a look at it here soon. Now let's close the terminal and look at the repository before we go look at the website. Open up the pages folder, and here we see we have our front end, which is all the files outside the API folder, and then we have the back end in the API folder. So in the API folder, we essentially have two endpoints. We have request message, which triggers the Morales auth endpoint using the address and the chain ID that the user is trying to use to sign in. This, as a response, sends the client side a message for the user to sign, and then once we sign it, you on the client side, we send another post request, over here to Morales auth verify with the message we received from the first Morales response and then the signature we signed on the client side. This then using next auth generates a user with that wallet address that was signed in the profile ID that Morales authentication API generated and the signature the user signed to be stored in a web session in a JWT token that can then be used to handle authenticated user states and display content. Now that's all you need to know on the backend side, but we have already gone through this in the Next.js project build. So go check that out if you haven't already. Now for the front end build, we have all the setup files, but we have the sign in a user file. We'll be working in the sign in.js file where we have a MetaMask connector brought in from the wonderful Wagmi Web3 library, which is basically what we use for all the client side Web3 connection. We have this handle auth function over here where we use Wagmi to create a connection using MetaMask. Then after we set that connection, we have the wallet address and the chain ID that's connected and we can send a post request to the Morales Authentication API. Once we receive that message, we can use Wagmi again to sign that message and then send that final post request to Morales Authentication Verify and then use next.js to create that user token, which we can then push to the user's homepage. Now, all we have to do if we want to use different wallet providers, we have to bring them in from Wagmi. So we can bring in Coinbase Wallet and Wallet Connect over here, like so. So we bring Coinbase Wallet Connector and Wallet Connector. 
Now for our handle off function, we need to know which wallet the user has selected to use. So we have to provide a parameter wall, and then we can create a conditional connect over here and set the user data above the connection, which we can then adjust after we've selected which connector we're going to use. And we're only going to provide the network in the user data object at the start. Then now here, if our wall is equal to, let's say, meta, we'll use the MetaMask connector, like so. Let's format this a bit nicely. And now here we can set the user data, user data dot address to be equal to account that we destructure from the connection with Wagmi. Now we do the same thing for our chain ID, user data dot chain will be equal to the chain and the ID parameter from there. So now if we run the handle authentication function with the meta parameter, we're going to use the Wagmi MetaMask connector. But now say we want to use the wallet connect connector. Let's add that functionality over here. We can copy this. We can paste it in over here, then say wallet over here. Now, rather than using the MetaMask connector, let's use the wallet connect connector like so. And here we can actually provide some options because mostly people using wallet connect will want a QR code so they can use their mobile wallet to connect. We'll set QR code to true. Now, finally, we can add a Coinbase wallet conditional. So if the wall parameter is set to coin, say, for example, we can use the Coinbase wallet connector here. We don't have to provide the option. So let's get rid of those. And of course, the user data we already set in the conditional. So we don't have to set it down here. You already set the user data over at the top. The network will always be EVM because we're using Ethereum virtual machines. And then we set the address of the user who's connected and the chain ID they're using. Now, because we have these conditionals, we also have to set the option for the user to select which method they want to use. Currently, we only have one button and we don't take any parameters. This is authentication via MetaMask. Let's add the MetaMask parameter, which we set to be meta and now add the two other buttons below. And boom, now we have three buttons and all of them on click run the handle off function, but with different parameters, one with wallet, one with coin, and one with meta distinguishing which wallet provider we're using to authenticate each time. Now, if we save this, we already should have a local development server running on localhost 2000. So we can open up Google Chrome and look at that authenticate via MetaMask, authenticate via wallet connect and authenticate via Coinbase wallet, all options over here. Let's open up the console and we can give these all a try. So authenticate via MetaMask, we're connecting to site via wallet. Let's connect. Now we're sending the connect account and chain ID to the Morales Auth API. And then we automatically received a signature request from Morales Auth API, which is dignified over here. We signed that and there was a successful sign in. We're automatically redirected to the user page. Now going ahead and signing out, we clear the console and then let's try Coinbase wallet. But you have to make sure that you have the extension is downloaded from the Google Chrome extension store. And now we press authenticate via Coinbase wallet. We are asked to connect to site via wallet. We connect. Then we're sending our connected account and chain ID to the Moros Auth API. Again, automatically receiving our signature request from the Moros Auth API. We sign that and there's a successful sign in again, automatically redirecting us to the user page. One more time, let's sign out and we'll finally try the wallet connect. Press wallet connect. All right, we get the connect the site via wallet message and we get this QR code on our web page. Now, let me cast on the screen also what I'm doing with my phone. Radio, so I open up my mobile MetaMask account. At the top of the screen, I have a QR code scanner and I can scan the QR code. Now we're allowed to connect to the website. We connect and look at that. We send our connected account and chain ID to the Moros Auth API and received a signature request onto our mobile. We can sign the signature request and automatically we see a successful sign -in message. I've zoomed out a little bit, so let me zoom back in. But here you see that we successfully signed in this user and we get their wallet address, the profile ID generated by the Morales, Morales Authentication API and the signature we just signed. So here you see multiple methods to sign in your users to your application so they don't have to go ahead and start adding different wallets like Coinbase wallets, MetaMask wallets, Wallet Connect, whatever they want to use, they're able to use simply because the Morales Authentication API sign in with Ethereum works so effectively. I really hope you enjoyed this video and learned something. I'll see you in the next one.